we are good to go. All right. Um, special board meeting July 2nd, 2021 is going to be called to order at 6.05 p.m. Okay. Public comment members of the public are welcome to address the board during the public comment section of the agenda. If you wish to make a public comment, please email lbrown at fairfaxsd.us to add your request. Please state your name and agenda item you would wish to address. You'll be recognized on the virtual platform when it is your turn to speak. Public comments are limited to three minutes per person and 20 minutes for each agenda item. If public, if multiple people are wanting to address the same topic, if you wish to make a public comment in person, you may make such comments at the district administrative office located at 1500 South Fairfax Road, Bakersfield, California, 9307. If you are needing translation services for the board meeting or would like to make a public comment and need assistance in translating your statement, please contact the district office at 661-7221-366-7221 or email lbrown at fairfaxsd.us 24 hours in advance for assistance. Okay, with that, we, we will move into the preliminary section. Number one on the preliminary section is salute the flag. So if you guys would join me in saluting the flag. Okay, number two is going to be approval of tonight's agenda. First motion. I have a first motion for approval of tonight's agenda by Alma Rios. Second. second. Oh. I heard a second by Jose Tapia. Now I'm going to go with the roll call vote. Alma Rios. Aye. Virginia Lawson. Aye. Palmer Mullen. Aye. Victoria Cornell. Aye. And Jose Tapia. Aye. That is a 5 0 for approval of tonight's agenda. The approval has passed. Number three in the preliminary section welcome of the guests. Welcome to the meeting of Fairfax Elementary School District Board of Trustees. This meeting is held in compliance with the state of California and County of Kern Sunshine laws. We have a place on the agenda to hear from members of the public who attend our meetings. It is good if you can call the superintendent before the meeting and have a place on the agenda for any issue you want to talk about. However, if you haven't done that, you may fill out a form provided for you and give it to the board before the meeting begins. Each item on the agenda can be discussed by members of the public. 20 minutes are provided for each agenda item. Several people can speak during these 20 minutes. We do, we do hope that you refrain from visiting during this meeting as it can be disconcerting to the board members. Thank you for being here. With that, we move into the public comment section. The public comment procedure. A person, to, a person wishing to be heard by the board shall first be recognized by the president and, she, and then shall pr then proceed to comment as briefly as the subject permits. Individual speakers shall be allowed no more than three minutes to address the board on each agenda item or non-agenda item. The board president shall not permit any disturbance or willful interruption of board meetings. Persistent disruption by any individual shall be grounds for the president to terminate the privilege of addressing the board. The, the board may be remove a disruptive individual. Individuals who disrupt a board meeting may be guilty of violating California Penal Code 403, a misdemeanor. With that, we will go to our first public comment. Our first public comment will be Ali Ayala. Ali Ayala will be recognized by the board president. Miss Ayala, will you turn on the uh, microphone, please? Perfect. Yeah. Turn it on. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. Good evening, board members. I want to quickly describe some qualities of arrogance and humility. Um, so qualities of arrogance. Um, one is never at fault. They don't listen. They interrupt others. They always want to be right. They don't see things from other people's point of view. They push points through. They show frustration very quickly. Um, they avoid accountability and they create a culture of fear. Qualities of humility are they admit making mistakes. They listen to understand. They, gave, they give space to others when they need it. Um, they have an open mind. They embrace differences. They allow ideas to emerge, demonstrate patience, take ownership, and they build a learning culture. Um, Alma, at the town hall meeting, you didn't listen to the public. You didn't try to see things from the public's point of view. You avoided accountability of your actions. These are qualities of arrogance. I wanted to give you some examples of what you could have done to show um, qualities of humility. So you could have uh, listened to the public and responded with honesty and willingness to help. You could have responded with understanding the frustration and anger from the public. You could have admitted to not knowing what the word censure meant and proposed to bring, it back, bring the censure back about Mr. Moland. I know, although it's hard for the public to see past your arrogant actions, at every meeting you have a chance to act with humility and take steps to gain the trust of the public again at every single meeting. Um, Mr. Moland, you have showed qualities of arrogance just since you've been on the board. You have had um, chances to change your ways as well as implement your training, but you continually don't. I hope you choose to act differently than you have been. I have, I've never known you personally. Um, I just simply started attending meetings when they were available virtually. I loved it because more of the community could access it. Um, and I was just immediately shocked by your behavior and your arrogance. Um, and that's just coming from someone who didn't know you prior to that. Um, Mr. Tapia, you, you didn't show to the town hall meeting for whatever reason, um, but during meetings, you don't ask questions um, when you're confused. Um, you don't participate in discussion. Um, you don't speak up for yourself. Those can be, um, some people can assume those as qualities of arrogance as well. Um, I know it's hard to admit mistakes, especially publicly. It's very hard. And that's the position that you took, but I, still, I admit that's a very a hard thing to do. Um, so I have typed up a resignation letter just in case it's something that you would like to do out of the limelight. Okay, I'll pass it out um, as soon as I'm done. I really pray that you seriously consider Laura Brown for superintendent because I have seen her act with these qualities. She admits her mistakes. She listens to understand. She gives, I'm almost done. I have like three more sentences. I'll make a motion for her to have more time. Can I get a second motion for the person speaking to have a second? Mr. Mulling, your microphone is off. A second motion. Is there a second motion on the floor? Separate motion. Separate motion. To, oh, to extend okay. Miss Ayala's time. The second, the, the second motion to extend by Jose Tapia. Thank now you. Now we'll do a roll call vote, please. Oh. The roll call vote, Alma Rios. Aye. Virginia Lawson. To expand her, yes. Palmer Rowling, yes. Victoria Cornell. Aye. Jose Tapia. Aye. Five O, you may continue. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Laura Brown continually um, is open minded. She embraces differences. She allows ideas to emerge, demonstrates patience, takes ownership, and she builds a, a culture of learning. Um, 
these are qualities of humility. These are very important in leadership. Um, and so if you ever need an example of what it looks like, just look at her, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Um, this historic document should be submitted for the record. Next on the agenda to speak in public comment is Raven Luis. I don't want to mess up your name. Si is it Simon? It was recognized by the school board president. There we go. Good evening. My name is Raven Luis Simon. I apologize for my dress. I would be dressing more professionally. However, I just spent the last 14 hours running the Broodsley Fireworks booth because I'm the band director at Broodsley Junior High, all raising money for my students. I'm a product of this district. I went through this district. I've been here since I was in fourth grade all the way through eighth grade. And a lot of people don't expect a lot of success stories from students out here. But I'm here as one of those. I went through this district. No one thought I would be anything. And now I'm a successful band director, I'm a teacher, and I look behind me and there are a lot of mentors here that I thank for helping me throughout my life. And I'm very happy to call them colleagues now. I'm a band director and I tell my students all the time. And as cheesy as it sounds, I love this movie. And from Frozen 2, do the next right thing. And I ask that the board do the next right thing because it's all about the students. Without the students, we would not be here. Without our wonderful teachers who inspire our students every single day, we would not be here. So please, if my sixth or eighth graders can do the next right thing, then I believe that we can too. Thank you. Thank you. Next um, public comment, next person recognized by the school board president be, will be Maria Hernandez. There it is. Okay, thank you. Um, here I am one more time. Uh, I'm just wanted to say that I, whenever I'm stepping here, I think I know what I'm gonna say and totally something different comes out because my emotions get the best of me. Um, but this time I'm gonna try to control myself. I was very disappointed in the last meeting that some members were not capable of being there when they sign up to do this job. That was the first thing. Second thing, the lack of understanding and support and feedback from all of you. Um, and the third thing is that Mr. Mullen uh, told me that if I wanted to see his resume, uh, I'm not interested in seeing his resume. I'm interested to see his actions as in right now. And I probably know more than he thinks I know. So therefore, I'm here today to speak on the, the, the motion that is on. And I wanted to say that I think that was very wrong that you sign up yourself with Alma for the interviews and not, or, to, to have a say when in reality, Ms. Victoria Lassam has more time in the board and knows a lot more. And the lack of community members to be sitting in front of whoever is being interviewed, I think that was totally wrong too. So I'm here to say that I hope you do the right thing today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't hear what you said was wrong. Can you re repeat what you said was wrong? I'm sorry. What I was, it was, every, see, that's the thing, you don't listen. My thoughts come and go. So I couldn't repeat exactly what I say. But I wanted to say is that I think it was wrong that you volunteer yourself along with your friend Alma to go through the procedures 
of uh, negotiating the money that the next superintendent is gonna do. And whoever, that you guys have more power than anybody else when I think Miss Virginia Lawson, who has a lot more um, time in the board, will, do, will, will be more knowledgeable uh, who was a better match for the district. But honestly, you don't have to worry about that because we already have someone here who can do the job. But knowing you from now, I think you already have somebody in place and you have your two soldiers who are gonna vote for you and how you wanna vote. But there's still a chance for Mr. Tapia and for Alma to do the right thing. Because you know that Ms. Laura Brown has been here with us for 20 plus years and she knows the district better than anybody else. So I just hope that you don't make another mistake and bring somebody from outside that doesn't know our community, doesn't know our needs, doesn't know anything. She knows, she's been here. So I hope that tonight you do guys do the right thing. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Next person who will be recognized by the school board president will be Maritza Pineda. Hello. <clears throat> well, I'm here as well. Like Maria Hernandez said, we're just tired of repeating ourselves. But um, today I'm here to give you guys the how do you say this? Quiero darles el, el voto de confianza que van a hacer la decisión correcta cuando sea tiempo de elegir al superintendente de nuestro distrito. La señora Laura Brown ha estado con nosotros, sabe las necesidades de nuestras comunidades, de nuestra comunidad, los niños, y este, probablemente haya también buenos candidatos allá afuera. No estamos diciendo que no, sino que la cosa es de que si sabe el, la necesidad que hay en nuestra comunidad. Queremos que hagan la decisión correcta porque esa decisión va a impactar al, al distrito, a los niños, los programas que hagan escuela. Estoy de acuerdo con María de que no hay suficiente representación de los padres o miembros de la comunidad para en el proceso de elegir el nuevo superintendente cuando dijeron que iban a hacerlo accesible para nosotros, solo escogieron a una persona pero esa persona puede que no sea padre de la comunidad o puede que nada más sea padre del distrito y no sea alguien de la comunidad, porque hay muchos miembros en la comunidad que no tienen hijos en el distrito escolar, pero pagan taxes, tienen sus negocios aquí en nuestra comunidad. So, no se les extendió la oportunidad a ellos de participar en saber quién va a tomar las decisiones en nuestro distrito. También, Este pido de que no dilaten tanto este proceso porque también impacta otras decisiones que se tienen que hacer porque no tenemos un superintendente fijo en el distrito. Estamos esperando con el señor Medina de um, para nueva escuela de la propiedad y todo eso tuvimos una junta de eso y no se puede hacer nada está en, en, en hold porque no hay un superintendente fijante para que pueda hacer las decisiones, porque se lo hace la señora Brown, que está ahorita de superintendente, pero no se sabe si va a seguir o no va a seguir. Entonces, si ella hace una decisión y la otra persona viene y piensa que no era la correcta, esa persona ya va a estar atada a esa decisión que la señora Brown hizo. So, hay muchos proyectos, muchas cosas que se están poniendo en espera por la decisión que ustedes tienen que tomar para nuestro distrito y es poner a un superintendente fijante en escuela, en el distrito escolar. Y pues espero que hagan la decisión correcta y les estamos dando el voto de confianza que, que es decisivo en si ustedes están con el distrito, con los niños o no. Gracias. 
Thank you. With that, that would end our public comment section. It's 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 too late. It's too late. Can we make a motion to allow more public comments? You can you can put a motion to the floor. Okay, I'll make a motion to allow more public comment. Can I get a second? Second. Second. Oh. The board president is recognizing the motion to the floor. The motion to the floor is to allow additional, um, a additional comment um, to be heard. Uh, if you can come to the podium, um, the board pre president will recognize Dave Walker. All right, thank you. I'll fill the form out afterwards. I got the chit chat in our way and time slipped away. I'll make it short and brief. On behalf of every teacher in this district, we would be proud to serve under Laura Brown as our superintendent. We will cooperate with the mission that's been set before us, and that is to continue to educate these students in this district as best as we can. And I'm just telling you right now that Laura Brown is where KFTA stands with the, uh, without an exception. Thank you. Can we turn this off? Yeah. Please. Okay, hey, with that, we will move to D, closed session. The board may be required to adjourn to closed session for discussions of matters of personnel, security, negotiated negotiations, student discipline, litigation, or other matters are authorized by government sections 3549.1, 5495.6.6, 5495.7, 5495.8, 5495.9, and 54957.6 and education code sections 35146 and 48914. Note, in the event any items are acted upon in closed session, the actions taken will be reported publicly at the end of closed session as required by law. So in closed session, we have number one. We're going to move into closed session. Correct. So now with the time being 628, we're going to move this meeting into closed session.